everyone, Hedgedog here. Welcome back to part 3 of the Centauri Dream series. So last time we got to orbit, it was definitely tougher than getting to orbit on Kerbin, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And this time we're not wasting any time. We're not going to collect signs from different places. We're just going straight to the moon. So the moon here is Hawking. Uh, it's about 30,000 kilometers away, so it's fairly close, but it does have an inclination, so it's a little bit tougher than just your regular moon. It has about a 6 degree inclination, if I'm not wrong, which is very similar to Minmus. So, um, it's not too bad, but since we are realistically scaled here, we want to uh, make sure that we get our launch window correct and not just fix it when we're in orbit so that's what we're going to do here and as you can see right now I'm constructing my probe and you'll notice that I just put a little cap on it and that's because I don't yet have fairings um, so spoiler alert that's going to give me a pretty tough time coming up soon you'll see you'll see what happens when when we get there so let's just continue with this speed build I think that's good. Okay, so now we have whew, 1100, 11,000 meters per second. Is that is that enough? I I don't think so. Man, that's about as much as I can squeeze out of this its current format. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's see where this goes, right? Who cares? And actually, before I launch it, I need to make sure that I'm aligned with Hawking. Because Hawking has an inclination. There it is. And as you can see, I need to make sure Whoops, that's a little too much. Need to make sure that you're aligned. And I think, I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's do that. Hawking has an inclination of. Give me details. Hawking. Inclination. Inclination. No, it doesn't say. Okay, I'm going to target Hawking. Let's go. Whoa, I am seriously off balance here. What is going on here? Why am I so out of balance? Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's revert. Revert to launch. Okay, so what? 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 No, no. Physics? No. Okay, are we cool? Are we cool? What's going on here? Maybe that's why I was swaying. Okay, so I'm going to put the swivel down there just for control. And set it down very low. Okay, let's go. Also, Ah! What's going on here? Is this thing flipped? What's going on? I have no idea what's going on here. Man. This is rough. Can it pull up in time? Yes, it can. <laughs> oh man, it must be because of the top. That's not really aerodynamic. It's pretty cool though. Is it gonna crash? Is it gonna crash? Not this time. No way. Stitch those. Cool. Okay, so it turns out what is all my controls are reversed. Not sure why that happened. Probably not going to make it, am I? Nope. Okay. Well, that was completely insane. Let's try that again. So I might need fairings before I can actually launch this thing because I don't think this setup is working for me. Okay, so Hawking is my target, and let's go. And no, 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 no. Okay, I do feel like I have some control now. Not as much as I would like. Not as much as I would like. That is... No, no, no. Ah, nuts. This snake rocket thing again. Let's shoot them out. Go! Woo! Nasty. Totally going to land this thing. You'll see. Alright. Volcano powered landing. That's what we're going for. Alright, so I just killed my lateral velocity and I'm just going to hope that air resistance is going to slow me down enough. Let's see if I can get it. So I've capped at 103. And suicide burn. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's working, it's working, it's working! Holy shit, it worked! Oh my god! 
it actually worked. Man, I totally landed. I'm awesome. That was great. Let's. <laughs> I wonder if I want to recover this thing because it cost me so much money. No, that was completely ludicrous. I'm going to revert. But I did manage to land it. Okay, so fast forward about 30 minutes and about half a dozen more failed attempts, uh, different kinds of things that I tried, and just everything didn't work. It's all because of those stupid, stupid fairings, and actually also because I have a really long rocket. So I figured those two things were really what was causing all this mess. But I do have something that I think is finally going to work. So you see that I've completely replaced my probe with a probe that's made out of three service bays. They have all the batteries, all the sciencey stuff, everything they need inside. There's photovoltaic sails on the top and on the side, so I should have plenty of electricity. There's the antennas. Everything I need is just made out of a uh, probe out of uh, service bays. It's super ugly, but it works. I've also replaced the four SRBs with six liquid engines, so plenty more power. I think the last one had about uh, 11,500 uh, meters per second, and this one has around 14 thousand meters per second so much much more powerful uh, should have added stability also because of the extra fins basically this is just a much much better rocket so let's just see how this one works actually since you realize that I'm recording this after I did it you know that this is going to work um, kudos on that great observation um, yes, this is going to work, and I'll just show you exactly how I did it. Stage is about to be depleted very, very soon. Good. This is final one just to circularize our orbit. Okay, I'm in space. Space, 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 I'm in space. Okay, now I just need to set up a maneuver node to catch Hawking. I'm at 2.4 degrees, this is terrific. And there's my counter. So I need 1900 meters per second, and I have, you can, you can check, I have, wow, I have more than 4000 meters per second, which means I can totally make it to Hawking. This is great, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so we have our maneuver planned, I think, where is it? Yeah, so we have our maneuver planned on meeting Hawking, and our mission is to fly by Hawking, anywhere near Hawking, and we want to gather science data. So, 
this should be fairly simple. My only concern about this is that I won't have range with the antennas, but I think it should be good. So, we do need to fast forward to the next encounter because I've waited a few orbits to make it happen. So, let's do that. Okay, so I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually fast forwarding this 10 times regular speed instead of the normal 4 because this took forever. Oh my god, because I was in low orbit, very low orbit, I was limited to how fast I could warp. And I had to wait, I think, 5 orbits. And oh my god, this just took ages and ages. So I'm not going to make you wait around fast forwarding 10 times. Of what I had to wait and that ends now okay and we're finally here so just to have all our electric charge let us turn towards the maneuver node and let's throttle up to catch that moon go Great timing. So we're going to get a significant amount of science from this mission because we have high altitude data that we're finally going to get out of Volcano and we're going to get the flyby of Hawking and hopefully I do have enough Delta V so it should be fairly easy hopefully we'll also get the low uh, Hawking data so that should be a ton 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 of data and boy we should be able to unlock quite a few things with it so we're almost there just about Nine more seconds. Let's start catching this. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And we got our encounter and then we lost it. Okay, so we lost our encounter by just a tiny bit. So let's slow down. Just a touch. And we have our encounter. Now let's zoom in on Hawking. Okay, uh, okay. See how far we're getting. Wow. Oh, I can also get... Oh, I might be able to get a polar orbit. Perfect. And this is really tight. Amazing. That's going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I don't think I brought a scan set with me. That's a shame. Actually, that would have been good. But, well, you can't win them all. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to close an orbit around Hawking. I'm not sure I'll be able to, but hopefully. Okay, so let's kick up signs here now. And let's time warp out of here. Alright, so I didn't just time warp to get to Hawking. What I was trying to do is actually grab the high altitude data, science data, and apparently that doesn't happen. Not before 30,000 kilometers, which is how far away Hawking is. So I just kept going and stopping and going and stopping in the hopes that I would find the high altitude data. I even went into the spaceship to verify that science here now was getting accurate data. And unfortunately it was. So apparently 30,000 kilometers is not enough to get the high altitude data. Too bad. But I think it's going to be 50,000. So I'm going to have to send another mission later. Okay, okay, enough. Let's just get our encounter already. Amazing.
Where is it? Here it is. Oh, you can barely see it. Alright, so we need... Obviously we want to go into orbit here. How much delta V do we need? Wow, not, not a little bit. But I'm pretty sure we have enough. Still have plenty of fuel. And we are in orbit. Perfect. Okay, nice. And fairly circular. Looks safe enough. Okay, and it's a pretty polar orbit. We're going to keep it now. Okay, so now all we have to do is transfer science. It should be pretty easy. Just make sure we can see the sun. There we go. And let's transmit. done. Amazing. 153 science. A lot of money. We've completed explore, explore, Let's see, flyby, gravitational influence of volcano, entered orbit, gathered science data from Hawking, and talk about close encounters. <laughs> and there'd be paperwork, absolutely. Okay, so we're just going to leave this explorer here for now. Not much it can do, actually, except maybe crash into a volcano. But, I don't know, maybe we'll need it for something. Let's just return to the Space Center for now. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. We made it to the moon. It was very cool. We haven't landed on it just yet. That's going to take a little bit more effort. Not too much, I think. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need to unlock a few more things. Fairings, at the very least, are going to be a pretty top priority for this. So we can actually have some nice looking probes. Anyway, if you like this episode, please click the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll get a notification when the next video comes up. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.